Constitutional Amendment B would bring legal sports gambling to Deadwood, South Dakota. However, the question remains, what would passing the amendment mean? How far reaching would sports gambling be in South Dakota? Austin Goss spoke to advocates and opponents of the bill today and has our top story from the Pier Newsroom. With sports gambling on the ballot this year, many South Dakotans are left to wonder what the implication is for them. The amendment to the Constitution would only allow sports gambling in Deadwood. If approved, the measure authorizes the state legislature to legalize sports betting. I, I expect that we'll have a lot of input from the gaming industry here in the state. They'll be looking at other states and what they've done and what's worked there and what hasn't worked. The gaming industry is cautiously optimistic the amendment will pass. Should that happen, they haven't ruled out making online sports gambling more accessible to South Dakotans. That the legislature will look at that uh, because uh, it's uh, being done successfully in both Iowa and Colorado right now. Uh, and that would give everyone in South Dakota that, that uh, option uh, to uh, you know, uh, legally bet on, uh, on sporting events. Rodman says it's important for South Dakota to stay competitive with what gambling is available to visitors. Deadwood's the exception for commercial gaming in the state. So it's the only place for commercial gaming, so uh, that's, that makes the challenge. Both supporters and opponents of the bill say it opens the door to sports gambling. The question is whether you support that. If you take something relatively pure and innocent like sports and you add the, the uh, component of uh, wagering, I think you, you create all sorts of potential uh, ramifications there. I think then it becomes a, a less of competition and expertise and more of how can we manipulate some sort of an outcome. In the Pierre Newsroom, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.